Okay then guys, it's the last part today, so well the last part of the main game. After this you should be able to play the whole thing and then we'll be adding some bits and pieces into it afterwards. So we got to a point here where we'd done our first choice. So if they put the number one in, as in to use the sword, um, it would generate this bit here which would work out whether or not we attack the character, how much health to take off them, how much health we took off, and then eventually to reset that character's health, uh, the enemy's health, um, once we'd actually finished it off. So what we need to do now is we need to program the second choice here. And it's actually a very straightforward thing to do if you've done this bit correctly. So if you've tested that this bit works by using the battle state and that's all working and it is exactly right, then you'll be able to do this bit pretty straightforward. All you need to do is highlight everything on um, from choice one here. So the if choice equals equals one and all the way down to that else statement there we're basically going to copy and paste the whole thing so in python you can do um, control c to copy then control v to paste or you can go up at the top here edit and then you copy it from there because right clicking doesn't work so maybe go edit and then copy it from there now where to actually paste it is very very important okay so if you go uh, if you press enter underneath your else statement here you get in line with those print statements you don't want it there if you press backspace once you're now in line with this else statement you don't want it there either if you press backspace again you're actually in line with this if statement here and you don't want it there you need to press backspace one more time so that you're in line with this if statement here. I'm actually out of line, this if statement here. So it needs to be exactly the same as that if choice there. So this actually is two indents away from the margin. So if you're at the margin and you indent twice, so press tab twice on two, you will be in line with where you need to be. It's important to get this bit right or because the next bit won't work otherwise. So once you've done that, and you're in the right place, you need to go to edit and you need to go to paste. So let's just see if this works. So sometimes when you do paste, it does knock things out. So this is where I'll just put some hashtags in so that you can see the differences. So those hashtags as well, they don't come up in the code, which is for me to highlight that this is the original one at the top here that I copied, and then this one underneath is what I pasted. So all I need to do now is I just need to change this whole thing so it actually works on the uh, the number two instead of um, if choice equals one. So there's a couple of things I need to change in it. So if I change this first one to a two, and also keeping in mind with my if elif else statements, because I've got an if statement here, if choice is one, this one here should be an elif choice. Okay, you get rid of those. Can you see the difference now? So I've got an if choice equals equals one is here, and I've got an L if choice equals equals two. So I just need to make sure that in the text and the rest of it, I'm actually referencing the right thing now. So in this one, in this option, I'll actually be um, using a magic attack. So using your sword isn't actually going to work at all. So something like uh, you cast a spell would be better. The hit chance can still be the same, you could make it more or less likely to happen if you wanted. And then the enemy's health being removed is exactly the same. But the only thing different now, instead of using the character's strength, our character's strength, because we're using a magic attack, we need to use their magic attribute. So if we go back up to the, op uh, the class at the top here, we can see they all have a magic attribute. So we're going to use this instead of the strength, because we've actually uh, cast a spell. So there's going to be character.magic now. This one is fine because that just looks at the enemy's health. Uh, this one is fine. This looks at our health. This is at the enemy strength. And this is at our defense. That's fine. Enemy name and our character's health. So that's fine. Um, and then we reset the three enemies back to where they were. That's actually fine. You defeated it. Yep. Absolutely fine as well. Um, and then the else statement that are here, um, so instead of your sword slips in your glass, we just say uh, you slip when casting your spell. You fumble and miss. And then the enemy hits you full damage as exactly as before. So now, if I've done that correctly, I've got two... Um, of my options programmed in. So I've got option one, um, which is to attack 
with a with a sword, and I've got option two, which is to attack with a spell. Make sure, please, that we now need to test this and make sure that everything is in the right place. So I've got my battle states down the bottom, and I'm going to test it. Now, I'm having an issue straight away with this Elif statement. So this is the one which uh, I said was going to cause a problem. Ah. So, actually, it looks to me like all of mine are out of... So there was a problem with this if statement at the front at the top here wasn't wasn't indented twice and was knocking these ones off here as well. So let's run this again. See this why it's so important to get these indents right. Let's run it again. Okay, so it's working now. I'm just going to close this out so that we can see it work very properly. Okay, so select our character. That's it. Uh, and now let's try option two to make sure these works. We've already done option one. So there we go. So option two here, and I've missed my first one, so we know the missing one works. Option two again. Um, I've uh, hit them. Unfortunately, uh, this character only has uh, one magic per hit, so I'm going to actually be here for quite a while. But you can see here um, how the damage is being taken off of me. We can actually round these numbers down because that's this ludicrous health to have. So we can sort that out in a bit, actually. Right, I'll remember to test this with a different character with better magic skills. You can see how the different characters are going to be good at different things. So obviously if you're going to use a lot of magic, you won't want to choose the warrior. So we've gone all the way through there and we've attacked and we've beat that goblin. Uh, their health has gone to zero and they dropped a sword and uh, our new uh, enemies appeared and we've got our three options again. So to me, I said it's pretty, uh, pretty likely that that's all going to be working, okay? You just need to make sure that if this doesn't work, if this comes up saying outer indent doesn't match inner indent, and I'll show you what I mean. If I run this, it should come up with an issue. Or invalid syntax or something like that. It should put you where you need to be. Just make sure you start with this elif statement here, go to the front of it, and press the tab key, which is above the shift key, tab key on your keyboard twice, once and twice. That gets into the position it needs to be. Then from there, put that print statement so it's on the same line and press enter, and that will be in the same position. And from there, you can do the same thing for each of the lines, if it's all, if it's not 100% where it needs to be. So you delete that back up and press enter. Delete this one back up and press enter. And delete this one back up to the top and press enter. And you will see it's putting it exactly where it needs to be. Okay, so if you do that a whole way around and pay attention now, so leave this on the, on the screen here for a second, pay attention to how mine is laid out, yours should be exactly the same. So last thing we're going to do is the last elif statement. So the last one is the choice if they actually run. So in order to get this in the right position, I'm gonna make the same mistake again. I'm gonna go right back to the wall here and I'll press tab twice and I'm going to write elif choice equals equals three. So if they choose to run, we need to have a little um, chance here as to whether or not they're going to escape. You probably work out how to do it. So we're going to do almost exactly the same as the hit chance here. And we're going to basically say that um, if our run chance is over a certain amount, we've managed to get away. But if we haven't, then uh, we're going to get a, sort of the full hit of the enemy without being able to defend from it properly. So I'm going to print, uh, you try to run, and then we're going to have a, a variable called run chance, and it's going to equal, again, we use that same thing, random.rand int, and in there, I'm going to have between zero, I, I did it between one and ten, so between the number, uh, so from number one and the, to the number ten. And I'm going to do it as almost like a 50-50 type thing. So um, if the run chance is greater than uh, four, so that means I get one, two, three, four, 
Actually, I do it as greater than five because that gives it a bit more of a chance here. Um, actually, no, I'm going to do it as four. So if the run chance is greater than four, um, print you got away unscratched. So this is to say here that if um, this run chance is basically kind of rolling a dice, almost like a ten sided dice, if the number that comes up is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. So that's actually seven chances you could have. Um, you're going to get you're going to get away with it. But if it's one, two, three, um, or four, then you're going to have a bit of an issue there. Okay. Um, so if we actually don't get uh, to run away, that's the next bit. But however, after this bit, we're going to type in break. So break. Um, is going to, we used it here, but it's going to take us back up um, to where we need to be. Um, I'm going to go through this in more detail in a sec. So if it's going to be, uh, if we're there, do that. Everything else, print. You try to run, but slip and fall. And remember, you can write whatever you want in these green bits here. And whether you want to dress your game up, that's exactly up to you. You try to defend, but cannot. The enemy hits you for all damage. And then, just like before, we're going to do character dot health equals itself minus uh, the enemy's strength. And that'll remove the uh, uh, the actual amount of health that we have and all the rest of it. And we're going to print. Your health is now your health is now character health. Okay. Um, now the last thing to do. So what we've done here is if you run and you fall, um, you basically lose a bit of life from that. So if you're not lucky, you're going to lose a little bit of life. And the last thing to do is actually program in what happens um, when the user types in a number that isn't 1, 2, or 3. So at the moment, we've only programmed options of 1, 2, and 3. The user could accidentally um, program something else in, uh, which we don't want to happen. Um, so sorry, they could actually type something else in. So we need an else statement to catch all of that. So again, I'm going to go back to the wall here, and I'm going to press the tab key twice to make sure I'm in line with my elif statement there. I'm going to do else. So I've programmed one, two, and three in for all other keys which get pressed mistakenly. I'm going to do this. And because it's in a loop, what will happen is it will do that and then it will just go back up to the top and it will allow them to actually type in the right uh, the right number there. Uh, it should do anyway. Yeah, it goes back up to the while loop there. So that is the end of the game really. So you've now got, let's run it and make sure it all works. So I'm going to choose uh, the wizard this time because they've got better uh, magic attack. Um, so there we go. That's doing a lot better now. Um, see if I can run away. Try to run. I got away unscratched, and then the next, the next um, uh, character comes. Try to run away, and he got away unscratched again. Okay, so it is. Um, that break there, which is actually taking us out of the loop there and actually generating the next enemy for us. So this is the bit we've done in this uh, lesson. We've done uh, part two here, option two, and we've done option three. So in the last part, uh, we need to actually work out what happens when our character's uh, health drops to zero, so like a game over type screen. And we need to maybe start thinking about a scoring aspect or a high score and that kind of thing, so we can do a little bit of competitiveness. But as far as actual game goes, um, you should be um, able now to play this game and test it, and all of it should work, and then 
then we'll add on the extra bits after. Okay.